Almost. Okay. Hi, right, welcome to Takar's Reviews. Uh, this time is Tramban Khan. Okay, wrong universe. Sorry, I just start right. Yay. Okay, in this game, you're uh, actually building a tram system in Germany for two players. How does it work? It's a latest game from uh, Mayfair Games or Lookout Games, and it's only cars. So let's find out. Hello. So, Tramban, or the tram line, maybe. Uh, here we have four lines of, uh, or four stations, rather, of passengers. And uh, on your turn, the first thing I have to do is to play one or two cards from my hand to add to either of the stations. So, this is not optional, I have to play one or two. Uh, so, let's say I play a green one here and a yellow one there. And the numbers doesn't mean anything here, but the number of cards do. So, let's say there's four cards of green, then we will score the green cards. But hang on, score what? We haven't started playing yet. Yeah. But th this, the setup is the same for each round, so let's just move on. I can play from my hand now. Let's say I play two and six and eight of green. And the uh, rule here is uh, when you play a number, you have the next number in the color has to be more than the previous one. So I have two and six and eight. I cannot play seven now because I have already an eight here. If I play a seven, I have to start a new line here or column, and that is expensive. If I want to keep these passengers, they need to have a tram. So, right there, we have the trams. It's available. It's a uh, it's a two point a two pointer tram. It costs me five uh, money, and the later ones will be four times and cost fifteen money. So you, in the middle here, we have three, three. They cost ten money. Uh, cards are money on the back side. So here's my stack of uh, money, and this is my hand. So I can use it as either money or else. So right now I have uh, spent three cards. I have one card left. So one, two, three, four, five, and one left. I can choose to add this to my money pile or save it for later. So right now I choose to add it to my money. If I want to keep this, I have to buy a tram, as I said. So I pay one, two, three, four, five money and add a tram to my passengers. So later rounds, if there's four uh, green here, I will score the green cards. So right now I just add two, three, four times two and I will write them down on my score sheet here. Also my opponent will do the same if he has green cards, he will add his score on the next line here. So the game can uh, last as long as there are ten scorings and then the game ends and whoever has the most wins. Okay, that's a trombone. Very easy rules, easy to play and uh, takes less than an hour, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, 6 minutes, depending on how, many, how fast you're scoring. But okay, the luck of the draw is an issue. Maybe. And so let's say you have, the opponent has a lot of blue cards. He will score a lot of points when the blue cards are scored. And you have none. Well, you have a solution for that, maybe. Don't add cards here. Each turn you have to add a passenger, one or two. Don't add blue ones if he has blue ones. Or, um, you can save blue cards on your money pile, you can start your own blue passenger train or just score differently than your opponent. So let's say he has no greens, well score greens or yellow or red, you know, do what he doesn't have. So whenever he's scoring make sure that he doesn't score a lot and you don't help him score if you have little points and uh, try to make your own sets of cards that he doesn't have and, and just time it correctly. It's a, it's a brilliant game with a lot of interesting choices and I think you can compensate for the luck, luck of draw uh, with choices, actually. Okay, sometimes you get really, really bad cards. That's, that's how it is, but usually you have a sense of control anyway. You can choose to do something with it or you can choose not to and you can save up a lot of money because the trains become more and more expensive as the game goes. And you can just score quickly, just to end the game fast. So let's say this kind of equal here, and he gets a lot of points on the blue one. Well, score the green and yellow and red a lot of times without the blue one scoring a lot. So then he has to sacrifice his blue cards to score those points, and you don't. And it's interesting. I, I do enjoy this game quite a lot, and it's easy to explain, but maybe the playtime is an issue. But it's it's a nice nice two-player game that I can recommend instantly. So 
Thanks for watching. I hope to see you again in the next episode of uh, Tacos Reviews. So, see you then.